Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm John. And I'm Dawn. We are experienced runners and qualified running coaches. And in today's video, which is the latest in our coached session series, we shall be taking you on a three-part run. The first part involves a warm-up for our runners and some drills, the R, A and M of the ramp protocol we like our runners to do before every fast session. The second part of the P, the potentiate of the ramp protocol, will see us doing a fun little group run that you might like to incorporate if you run with a few friends, which is called Crocodile Reps. You'll see what that involves in a minute. And the third part of the session is a one mile time trial flat out so our runners can test their fitness and see what progress they're making to their current 5k and 10k race goals. So if you like today's video please give it a like and if you're new to the channel we'd love for you to subscribe. Oh and that's it. So if you enjoyed today's video please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing uh, so you can follow us on our parkrun, our coaching and our racing journeys. Obviously <laughs> 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 we're focusing on obviously for the video on showing the ramp uh, warmer. So we've just done the R part which is raising our heart rate to yeah. So now we're going to move on to the activation point, which is going to be our drills in a moment. And say it's gone past. So then we're going to do a few mobilising drills. Right, so for the potentiate bit, because obviously when we want to get to the bottom end, you're going to be doing a mile. So for the potentiate bit, we're going to be doing crocodile reps. It's basically doing strides. I'm going to split you into two groups, okay? So I'm going to show you how it's done, because I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to be five metres apart, roughly. I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to stride to the front. Uh, we'll put you in order. I'll stride to the front. Then when I get to the front, I'll put my arm up and the person at the back will come to the front. Okay, it's not flat out, it's not sprinting. It's using that good form that we've been talking about in. High knees, yeah? Socket pocket, high head, and the popping of our feet. Okay, so we're popping off. So we're, we're actually going to be going to the front. So when I say go, you will be going. you've done them you will be your heart rate will be reduced then by the time you get to the bottom end you'll be ready to do your mile so we won't have to do any further um strides or anything we get to the bottom okay doing that then we're concentrating on snap 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 okay that is mobilizing uh, sorry activating our hips our ham uh, our calves and our glutes okay so we'll just do 10 of those okay so opposite arm to leg and we're one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go faster. Nine, ten. Excellent. Keep going. And stop. Okay, that's kicks. That kicks are going to get our hamstrings ready for faster running. So again, you're concentrating on form, high head, and you're going to try and bring your heel up to kick your butt. I've got terrible back. You know, sort of fast runners have had their, their legs actually come up to the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to run along trying to do this. So, again, ready? So you're going to go in. Opposite arm. Kick. Well, all right. Oh, I'm going to pause. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Then I'm going to get it. Rob's got it. Chloe's got it. Oh. Okay. Come <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Okay, so remember, opposite arm to leg, and then that's it. Ready? Go. Excellent. Well done, Rachel. You've got it. Well done, Julie. Yes, excellent. Everybody's got it. So we're focusing on form. Balance is a different thing. With so that's it. So then you can let your legs swing and let your hips loose. Okay. So I want you to do five to the front on each leg. So you will have to turn and then I want you to do the side ones, five of each on each leg. Okay. And look, look at the head of the person in front of you. So your head should be up. I'll be watching. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, yeah, 
kick to the front. Let yeah, your legs feel nice and loose as your hips kick up. Excellent. Five, and then turn and do five on the other side. We'll do the side ones after we've done the front ones on both sides. <laughs> So I've set the runners off in waves based on the fact that we should all finish in broadly a similar time. So the slowest runner went off first, the fastest runner went off last. Uh, we got them all to reset the watches, so hopefully their garments should measure a mile uh, right back to me. They're going half a mile out to where Dawn is under a bridge, half a mile back to me. So they should all measure a mile apart from the one who's got a watch calibrated to kilometres and the one who's running naked without a watch or I'm timing her on my phone. Question of the day, miles or kilometres? Which one do you do and why? I mean, I've always done miles because when I started running, late 1999, early 2000, all club runs were in miles. We were doing six miles tonight, we were doing eight miles, nobody mentioned kilometres, apart from the fact we're all training for the Barnsley 10 kilometre road race. So there's an anomaly back there, but sometimes I find it hard to get my head round. I know what six minute miling is, I know what eight minute miling is, but if somebody tells me they're running 4.45 per kilometre, I'm thinking, hmm, not quite sure is what does that relate to in terms of 10k, half marathon. So which do you use and why? So then Rachel, turn here. enjoying these coached running sessions uh, the vlogs we've been putting up on those 
If you are and running coaching is something that you're considering for yourself, please get in touch with us. Uh, there's an email address up on the screen now. We can arrange an initial online consultation where you can discuss your running goals and aspirations and we can talk about how we may be able to help you attain them. We coach beginners to experienced runners and we're happy to coach anything from 5k up to the marathon. So if you're interested, as John says, get in touch. If you do, it might help your running flow more smoothly. So we hope that you've enjoyed today's video and if you have, please give us a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because it means a lot to us and it's free to you. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.